Okay, sorry about that. So we're back. Computer just cut out for some reason or other. So uh, we are busy with the shape here and we are asked to calculate the perimeter and area. And we got 5 for x, or 5 for the hypotenuse there. Not so much. So this is going to be 5. So again, we start at this point. We're going to start here. So it's going to be 5 to the perimeter. It's going to be 5 plus. That's also 5. Plus. 3 plus plus that and that is the same. Okay? That gives me a parameter of 10, 13, 21, 24. I got 24. What, is that correct? Twenty-four meters. If you're looking at the area, the area of course is made up of two shapes, two basic shapes. A triangle and a rectangle. Not so. Yes, sir. So how do you calculate the area with triangle? So half base. So what's the base here? Eight. Eight and it's perpendicular height? Three. Three. Plus the area of the rectangle is length, which is 8 times 3. So it's half times 8 is 4 times 3 is 12, plus 24, which gives an answer of 36 meters. People, you guys have a calculator, so you can punch that in the calculator at that point. Too. Okay. We get 1.9. says 1.9 right it says 1.9 and number 1.9 again it's perimeter and area okay yes, sir. so if we start here it will simply be 8 Parameter is going to be 8 plus 2 plus. Now you see, this is not marked, it's an unmarked section there or unmarked part of the uh, parameter. So if from there, what's it in from there to there? 8. So what is the distance from there to there? 5. As you can see, this and that is the same. Okay. So the length of that unmarked piece is three. Okay. Now if this length is six, what is that length? Four. It's also six. No, this length here. If this length is six, then that length is also six. Okay, but this short length here is. Two. So this has to be? Four. We all agree with that? Yes, sir. So this is going to be four. So you've got eight plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six. Okay. It gives you 13, 18, 28. 28. Units. You see there's no measurement given there? No SI unit? So you just write units. Yes, my God. Yeah, to do some more. People, how do you calculate the area? This is a composite shape. It's made up of two basic shapes. I'm going to divide it there. Or I could have divided that way. Okay, I'm going to divide it as I'd made the dotted line initially. So here we got 
the area of the tra uh, rectangle, not so? Plus an area of a rectangle as well. Not so? The one rectangle is going to measure 5 by 6, and this one is measuring 3 by 2. Not so? Okay? So that we're going to give you 6 times 5 plus 3 times 2. That's going to give you 30 plus 6, which is 36 units square. Yes? Sorry? The other way you should get the same answer for this. What did you get? So? I said you must get it divided anyway. Now, as long as you're not making any mathematical uh, error, then you should get the sum. Okay. It's 1.9, let's look at 1.10. Start here with a parameter, it's going to be 8 plus 2 plus, that is not marked. Can you see here? That and that is the same. So if that is x, that is x. What is the length from there to the 8. What's the length from there to the 2? So 8 minus 2 is 6. So you've got x plus 2 plus x is equal to 8. So 2x equal to 6, x equal to 3. So each one of these is going to be 3. You will understand? Okay. So it's going to be 3, 3. So let's go again. We've got 8 plus 2 plus 3. Yes? What if we have 6? What if we have 6? 6. So you're going to have a 6 here, and you're going to have a 6 here. And what's 6 plus 6? 12. Plus 2? 14. So you're saying that length is 14. Is that the same as that? No. no. So you made a mistake. Okay. Yes, Michael? Um, so we worked out um, the three, you know, um, KFC to the down, KFC to the down, You don't have to write it down, but it's just uh, as a guide for us to show us what we have calculated at that point. Alright, so it's uh, 3 plus 9 plus 2 plus 9 plus 3 plus 2. You all okay with that? That's going to give us, um, that is uh, 13, 22, 24, 25, 35, 38. I get 38. Is 38 good? Eh? Who got 38? Is he given right? Okay. What was the misunderstanding? You all made the same mistake. But you guys understand? Yes, sir. Okay. Let's look at the next one, uh, the, the, the area. When you look at area of this piece, it's going to be the rectangle here, plus, because I'm dividing here, no? plus the area of another rectangle. Not so. But the area, this rectangle measures 8 by 2. And this here, a 2 by 9. Can you all see that? Yes. So, how do you calculate the area of a rectangle? Then times three. So it's 8 multiplied by 2 plus 2 ball multiplied by 9. 8 times 2? 16 plus 18, which is 20 is 30. 4 units. Okay. Any confusion? So you had to do 1.11, huh? Eh? One point eleven. They asked you to work out the perimeter and area. 
This is a circle, not so? So how do you calculate the circumference of a circle or the perimeter of a circle? 2 pi r. Oh. So what's my radius in this case? 5. So it's 2 pi 5. This is 10 pi. Which is? 3, 31 comma? So it's 10 pi. Thirty-one comma four two. Remember that one the after the four is dependent on that five. If it's five or more, it changes. Okay. So it's thirty-one comma four two centimeters. How do you calculate the area of a circle? Pi r squared. Not two pi r squared. It's pi r squared. Remember, this formula is not given in the exam. Okay? Yes. So you got pi. What, what is the radius? Pi and must be squared. So in other words, that is 25 pi. So 25 pi. The same one. So you eight comma five. Okay. Any confusion there? No. Yes? Can we leave it in terms of height? No. At least the question says leave your answer, leave your answer in terms of height. Or you are not allowed to use a calculator. Then you can leave it in terms of height. Uh, okay. Yes, there will come exams when you go to university where you don't use a calculator. Yeah, term 3, 4, from here onwards, you're allowed to use a calculator, okay? You'll use a calculator now, in grade 10 as well, 11 and so on, okay? Sorry? Yes, in every exam you can now, that's exam. Alright, but if it says show working out, then you must show it. And if you're going to go um, straight into the calculator, they're going to penalize you. Not really. You should do calculations. But there's certain cal calculations we wanted to show you steps for. But you'll see when, when it comes. Okay, let's look at the, this example here. This example is on page. Example 9 is on page. Sorry? This example is on page 173. Can you please settle down? A lot of noise in the background. Eh? The question is calculate the area of the shaded section. So they only want the area of the shaded section. So I'm going to take it one step back. I think this is a bit difficult to start off with. Okay. So if you add a rectangle, okay, you go um, this way, it's fine. All right. And I want you to calculate the area of that. Shape. Are you going to calculate that? Then time three. If it's a square, side square. Not so. Yeah, if these numbers, man. So now, if I say, okay, work out the area of the shaded section. Okay, now I want you to work out the area of the shaded section. Okay, now I want you to work out the area of the shaded Let's calculate the area of that shaded region. What 
what are you going to do then? Yeah, that's not triangles. She's saying work out this triangles and that's not triangles. <laughs> circle and the square should be seen. Okay? So, you should note that the square is shaded, not so. Yes, and how much of that shade of the circle are you taking away? The area of the cir circle. Not so. So in other words, to calculate the area of the shaded region, the area of the shaded region is going to be the area of the square minus the area of the circle. We'll give you that area of that. Sorry? The area of a circle, power square. The area of a square, side square. Okay, this one, you're talking about numbers. Okay, if this is four. Let's make it 40. If, the, if this 40, then all of this around is 40. So that would simply be area of a, of a square is 40 times 40, which is 40 squared minus. How do you calculate the area of a, of a circle? Area. Pi R squared. And what's my radius? Center to circumference. If this whole length is 40, how can that also be 40? 20, yes. And how do we then do it? As I say on a calculator, 40 squared, or 40 times 40, minus pi times 20 squared. So the area of that shaded region is going to be 343,36. Unit square. You guys understand? Yes, sir. So in other words, do you see that shaded region? They don't form a basic shape. However, we use the basic shapes to calculate that area. Does it make sense? Yes. Now looking at this one here, number nine. Okay? Number 9, and this is on page 170. To calculate the area of the shaded region. What do you notice here? It's a circle, yes. But it's actually a semicircle. Okay, can you see that? And, and a triangle. Actually, I had to leave this out. So these are the answers as well. Can you see that? Yes. So the area of the shaded region is going to be the semicircle plus the triangle. Not so. How do you calculate the area of a semicircle? Well, how do you calculate the area of a circle? Pi r squared divided by 2. Why? Semi. Okay? Plus, how do you calculate the area of a triangle? Half base times perpendicular. Okay. So here we are given the radius to be 7. Not so? Yes. Now, from center to circumference is your radius, so from there to there is also your, your radius. So that's your perpendicular height, as you can see in this diagram. Can you see that? So it's going to be pi. What's my radius? Seven. seven. So it's going to be seven squared over two. Jessica, are you okay, Michael? What are you busy with?
plus oh what's the base of this triangle here the base 14 times your perpendicular height which is you just put that in the calculator so that's going to be 49 over 2 pi plus 14 times half is 7 and 7 times 7 is 49 so the calculator is 49 over 2 pi plus 49. So we answer 125 comma 97. Uh, centimeters. Okay. Alright, now wait. Yes? Because your, your, your line drew from center to circumference is your radius, so that's going to be 7. And the line that you draw in is perpendicular. And also, if you look at it this way, this length here is your diameter. Can you see that? It's a semicircle. And we draw from center down onto that from the center to the circumference, then there has to be nine. So that these lengths are equal. Okay. There's actually two congruent triangles. Right, let's look at uh, number 10. Number 10, and this one again, page 173. Okay. Okay. What do you notice here? It's a square. The square, yes? And it's a quarter circle. Quarter circle, nice. So, can you all see a quarter circle? Yes. Um, Mr. Kanye? Can you see a quarter circle? Don't even get the answer and you say, oh, I don't see a quarter circle. You see. You all see. Yes. So how are we going to calculate the area of the shaded region? Um, area? What is the big shape here? A square. The square? Minus. The area of the square? Minus the area of quarter of a circle. Not so? Yes. So how do you calculate the area of a square? Right times side. That's 16 by 16. Not so? What is the length of this radius of the circle? You sure? Yes. You see, we draw a circle around here. From center to circumference, which is your radius. So your radius is E16. With the M, it is 30. From there to there is also 16, so that is 30. But you guys understand? Yes. Right. So you got the radius of 60. So how do you calculate the area of a, of a, of a square? Side times side. So it's 16 times? 16. Minus. How do you calculate the area of a circle? Uh -huh. Area of a circle. Pi on square. 